What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're gonna be showing you an awesome hack that I found, which is super fun and something that could be a huge time saver for editing. Hmm, dope. My name's Danny Matthews, and today we're gonna be talking about how to create a Xbox controller to be your new keyboard and mouse for editing in Adobe Premiere. Now, I scoured the internet to find out how to do this. I found a video from like seven years ago of somebody using a thing called joystick and it was a native PC thing, so I couldn't put it on my Mac. Well, I did and it wasn't working and I'm not gonna get into how long I spent on that. But I was able to find on the internet a software that is actually gonna allow you to remap your controller to be your new keyboard and mouse for Adobe Premiere. So let's jump into it. For reference, in Premiere, my timeline is here, my toolbar is here, here's my source panel, my project and effects window is gonna be here, here is the effects control for that, and finally the preview window. Okay, so basically this app is called Enjoy2, and to get it, you have to go through a series of Reddit articles and find the actual Enjoy2, because there's different ones online that are inactive and don't work anymore. And so I was able to find it through a GitHub account to find the right URL, which I have provided for you guys, so you don't have to do the legwork on this. So I got that URL in my description for you guys to check out and try out for yourselves how this is gonna work for your workflow and save you time. I wanted to give a quick demo on this and show you what this actually looks like. It's super bizarre, but I could totally see how it could save so much time getting into actually editing. So as you can see on my screen, I have Enjoy here and I put different configurations to most of all the buttons on here but i just want to give you a rundown and i'll give you a tutorial on this as soon as we finish this demo and what we're going to do here is as you can see my joystick is connected to the mouse and in here i have all my buttons pretty much laid out to how i want it but i can give you a quick rundown on what this looks like but basically i can use a button to move around and navigate on this and i've adjusted different key points such as this button is just a save button this button is the undo button this is my export button which just brings me right to my export and that's what i've mapped it to for myself in this you can do so many different button combinations that you want to do i mapped out clicking the analog sticks to zoom in and out and so i can come in here and actually make cut points and go ahead and just edit and honestly the first time i ever got into this since i do game quite a bit was pretty easy to pick up it's not the easiest thing in the world to get going if you've never used a controller before but that's kind of like what it looks like in all of the different details and assigning different buttons to different things and you can see you can edit quite faster i'm not gonna lie if i got used to this i might actually start doing this and one of the things that i noticed is it drifts a little bit with these analog sticks which i'll get to in the tutorial but that's just a little rundown on how this operates so you guys are probably wondering if this works for a playstation controller or any other controller and my assumption is yes this wasn't made just for xbox controllers but it works really well with my xbox controller so once you click the link in the description you'll go ahead and download that and you'll actually have access to the enjoy 2 application that you just go ahead and open up and you're going to be right in here and so it already has your xbox controller connected if you already connected it through bluetooth if you haven't done that reconnect your xbox Xbox controller or PlayStation controller to your system. Connect it how you would connect it to the system by hitting the reconnect button. It will pop up on your Bluetooth and you can connect right through the Mac or your PC for that fact. This, as far as I know, only works on Mac, so I haven't tried it on PC, but I'm sure it probably works as well. So in this, you're probably wondering, like, there's so many different buttons, which ones are which? If you actually have your controller on and you start clicking the different buttons, you can see which ones start popping up and it recognizes all the buttons at first glance. And the analog is a little bit weird. It's a little glitchy and honestly, it took me a really long time to figure out what is what. Like, I don't understand why there's a low, high analog. And in here, it's just like low power, or high power to the amount of movement that you have to the stick and then this is like an overall movement to the stick 
So in this, you have quite a few different options for every single button and analog sticks that you have here, where you can either do nothing, have a press key, which is just pick a keyboard, shortcut, or just a letter. And the thing about this is you can't do like multiple keys. You can't do shift command C or anything like that. You can only put one key in here. Uh, so it's the configuration is where you can actually have your different configurations over here where you add different ones on. I tried having another configuration in here and it didn't seem to want to switch when I hit that button. I don't know if that's just how my software is reacting to it. You can try it for yourself. The mouse movement is just obviously moving left to right and then the whole vertical is going to be up and down, mouse button left and right, mouse scroll toggle, mouse scope. I don't even know what that is, but you have all those different options for every single button. One thing to note on this that I found strange was when I hit the left and the right bumpers for the Xbox controller, it was not popping up with any button suggestions. I tried to find it just by guessing which ones are which, and it didn't seem to recognize these buttons. I don't know if that's just for this controller or that it just doesn't recognize the left and right triggers on the controller. Every other button works totally fine as normal, and the analog, you can actually click them like I was showing in the demo to have different buttons options as well so as you can see this is very straightforward and this is the best application i found to do mapping i found a bunch of different ones online and this one is actually free so it will be really useful and this can actually save you a lot of time in editing because everything's on your controller because everything is going to be on your controller and you can literally edit like you're playing a video game